Salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues, in which we're playing as that beautiful Mojave chapter, even though we extend a little bit into the Grand Canyon. I'm your host, though, Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here. Let's see. You know what? I'm thin thinking. Let's get a little crazy. We, we see these things called the White Claws, right? They're a little busy at uh, war with the Mormons and the people from Zion and Dead Horses. What if we were able to <clears throat> get involved in a conflict? as soon as possible, so that we might be able to get an ally or puppet someone soon enough. Hmm, maybe, maybe not. Hopefully these Mormons can hold, but there is no guarantee. Hopefully they do, but we've just become the Helios Brotherhood. And I'll talk about the White Claws a little bit more in just a little bit, but let's do another focus, shall we? Some production of stuff. Let's do this quickly. Establish dominance over Arizona, the NCR's final lessons. I don't want to piss them off too much yet, but let's establish dominance over Arizona. You think a full few football garb lunatics can stop me? Awesome. I love Arizona. But yeah, taking out the White Claws might be the best bet right now. Because we still have a White Truce. Or White Peace. With the Legion. Until 83 sometime. Was it February 83? So we don't have a lot of time. If we go to war with the White Claws though. That means if we have enough political power. We can raise our conscription level to Knights. Which gives us more manpower. Which we desperately need. Because we can only... Increase our conscription level if we're at war, and the en estimated enemy strength ratio is 40% or more compared to our army. So we definitely would be able to do that. They're hopefully going to be losing a lot of guys as the White Legs. If we can take them out, that's a pretty good little puppet we could have. Of course, give the Mormons back their own territory. But, oh, that we, oh, they might not. The Mormons are losing pretty badly right now. Oh, god dang it. Well, maybe that idea is shattered. Hmm. Well, that's sad. That's very sad, actually. Ooh, do they have anti-tank? They probably, yeah, they do. Mm. You know what would be really bad? If we were to get attacked while we were fighting the White Claws. I'm still going to attack the White Claws then. I'm going to still try it. I think nine divisions there should be able to hold. This is really, really not looking good for us, but we're kind of in a tight position right now. I'm not going to lie. A little bit of a tight position just because we've got the NCR to our left and our south. Which is not very good, obviously. If these guys were to attack now with five divisions in Hoover Dam, that's probably not really enough. We have enough equipment, though. We've got plenty enough equipment, and especially monoplane attackers. Oh my goodness, so good. So, so good. We have plenty of enough resources as well. Let's get some more power armor because we can. But, mmm, I don't know, man. You know what? I'm going to max this out here. Go ahead and max it out there. Go ahead and max out there as well, just in case I can't afford to lose Hoover Dam or Capital. But you know what? Mmm. We don't have enough divisions for this either. Hmm. Oh boy. If that's the case, I'm going to spare some robots. Head on over. And we're going to try this. Why? Because I'm crazy. And, uh... Yeah, why not? This is the best shot we got right now. We should be able to make quite a few of these pretty quickly, so... Drain their manpower on us. Establish dominance over Arizona. NCR's final lesson. Like I said, I don't, I don't want to piss them off. Let's go and study Prim Slim. In the town of Prim, there's a rather strange old world robot by the name of Prim Slim. Robots that have been, or had personalities installed and have been active this long always have little useful bits of knowledge. Let's have that robot go on a field trip across Mojave. I might learn something from its old member banks. Prim Slim becomes a uh, unit leader. Very nice. Very, very nice. We're about to get paid very soon because we're out of caps. Yeah, if they attack us, that's probably not going to be very good for us. Ooh, I just hope they have a lot of resistance here. I hope they do. Down here, I'm not too worried. Nine divisions is quite a few guys, so... Go ahead and stack them up there, too. Like, really stack them up, because they're going to need that. Yeah. This is probably a really bad idea. We can't even get any more planes in the air, because we don't have enough manpower. Yeah. Mm, this is probably a really bad idea, especially if everyone has anti-tank. I would say, probably one of the good things, though, about this... Oh, they can go to war with... Eagle Rock, which isn't that impressive, but if we do get to go to war with them, hopefully they don't join Kaiser's Legion. Hopefully they actually do instead go to war with uh, the 80s. I'm not sure which path they're going to take, actually, since it's all on historical. I never remember what's exactly on historical. We got more max speed. That's good. Happy 2281. Uh, let's grab some more reliability, because why not? A lot of political power. we got to save that for now. Are we still mobilizing a little bit more? I think we are. No, maybe not. Wow, we got 212... Thousand eligible core population. Oh, there goes a lot of people in Texas. Cool. So you, oh, oh, they're justifying against the 80s. Okay, not bad. And they have about 50 days left, while we have a little bit more than 50 days. Probably more like 70. That's 
that could prove to be very, very special for us. Very, very special. I kind of like that. And this maybe would be a very smart thing for us to do. Anyways, let's go and get our abs some incinerators because we want to burn our enemies a little faster, faster, faster. And anything else around here? Power armor, scavenger stuff? Why not? Repair turbines. What else do we have? We have no money. I have got 42 a month. That ain't bad. Let's get some comments though. Ooh, Lanius. Wow, that Texan Republic is not looking bad at all. Let's see, the first one is, someone recommends I use more planes. Yeah, I understand. I totally agree with you. I hope to use more planes too. I really do. <laughs> so we'll get there. I promise that. I definitely, I love planes, especially close air support. Man, close air support planes. They are just my, probably my favorite type of plane. Unless it's naval bombers in base game Hoi 4. But then again, even then, I think my favorite planes are still close air support. Because they can, they still have the advantage of using, or was it dive bombing and bombing ships? Stuff like that. I don't remember. We researched that for some reason. Not sure why I did that, but hey, whatever. Cool, let's do the next one, because we can. Next comment. Oh, uh, yeah, we have a lot of thought bots in the comments section. Just commenting stuff. Ooh, big shack bubble. If you want to read about that, go right ahead. But yeah, a lot of thought bots in the comments. It is what it is. I always report them. At least I try to. There's not really much I can do besides that except remove them and report them, so. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. Wow, we have only one guy there. How, how fast are we building stuff? Not fast enough. That's the real answer. But we should do okay, especially if they're fighting the 80s. Or they will be fighting the 80s, so that's not bad. Next up. Let's see. Someone says I should reunite all four of the... Uh, brotherhoods and puppet them like okay maybe the Western Brotherhood of Steel the Texan Brotherhood as well as the Washington Brotherhood that's that's quite a bit but hey we'll see what happens let's go and do the Cypher Expedition my top choice of expedition target was always to come here to the Mojave but my second choice definitely the Cyphers the Cyphers of the West have been mythologized mythologized as great protectors of technology I think sending a few scouts out east will serve well to learn more of this group ooh we lose some manpower and we get some more daily army XP gain for three years. We might as well do that, right? Might as well. Let's see. Apparently, you guys, or someone said in the, in the comments from yesterday's video that the Legion can still manually justify on us or something like that. So, we best be careful. And another comment said we gotta guard our ports just in case. Well, obviously, I'm not interested in guarding my ports right now, which is a very bad thing. Uh, we should probably do that. Ooh, capture the cipher, not bad. Make resistance contacts. Coordinate strike, survey this stuff, which I don't think we can do since we already took the people out. Whoopsie. Oh, well. But, yeah. I definitely have to guard port. I really have to guard more areas here. I would, but we don't have enough manpower right now, which is not very good. Uh, I will say that the NCR does have in their focus tree to eventually attack the Mojave chapter, I believe, eventually, or take... Oh, uh, well, actually, depending on which way they went, the New North... Let's see. They have that one. Manifest Destinies. Memory of the Mojave. The West will never fall. Uh, claims and unlocks territory disputes for Mojave Territory's former core territories, which is not good for us. So we have to plan for a war against the NCR. That's why I want to go to war with the White Legs now, so that we can get them as as a puppet, so we can use and abuse their manpower, maybe. They're pretty strong by themselves anyways, so... And if we get them as a puppet, then we don't have to deal with them when they if they join Kaiser's Legion. If we take them now, they probably shouldn't join, right? I could be very wrong about that, though. Refires in a little cartel. We're doing pretty well on this stuff. Wait, what? Oh, we lost man- Oh, we lost manpower. Come on, man. Ah! Ah, no, 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 no. If we don't do our focuses, we get 2.75 political power a day. That's actually pretty good. House commands, we might as well. The Lucky 30. It's a treasure trove now. It's my treasure trove. I'll send in a few paladins to rip apart the casino. Find out what made House's money- Or House's industry tick. I would love to figure out what made his life's sustaining technology work. Since we got a lot of political power right now, that's pretty good. You guys knew. You guys knew. You guys over here. Yeah. Keep defending that area. Um, where do the Legion soldiers go? Uh, Legion. No, you still have it there. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me you joined the war against these guys. Yeah, they still have Cult of Diana, two sons. Mm -hmm. Hot of the Empire. Oh, man. This is not. Well, you know. No, no, sir. No, no. We need more money. Of course, then we could always say we need more money. We all need more money, probably. Mmm, 2 2 one, 1 which is kind of scary. These guys are going to get beat up, but this group is going to get beat up probably even more, as well as this tile, so. This is definitely going to be a risk. We could core some territory, and that would give us boost on core territory for defensive modifiers and such. <clears throat> we could do that. Uh, I'm considering it right now. <clears throat> could get more factors that way, too. But if these guys are really going to go to war with these, the 80s, I think we should be good. 
They just finished the war against those guys. Now we can go to war with the 80s. We got some things that go burn, burn, burn. Let's grab some rocket launchers next. <clears throat> when you go to war by when? By July 5th. Okay, interesting. Now wait for you guys. They just finished up the war, so they might go to war with Wendover anyways. Start your engines. Please go to war with them. Please go to war with them. Oh, so they went down the Legion's Outriders. Oh! They become an ally of the Legion. Oh, crud. We'll still get to declare wars, though, so don't worry. Oh, that is not good. Hey, they're turning triumphant. Great. Oh, we got Robco Industries anyways. The price is right. Yeah, okay. Um... So they will go to war with the White Claws eventually. That's good, but that's actually very bad for us, too. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, why? Why? Government cipher schools. Machine-assisted decryption and such. Fuel refinement, very cool. Uh, let's see, soft attack, hard attack, why not? Yeah, I'm tempted to just core something right now. Um, mm, 211 is quite a bit. 210, though? That's pretty much exact same. This is the same amount of manpower, actually. If that's the case, I'm probably going to core this, because we can probably defend here with a core territory bonus right there, so... <sighs> that probably doesn't give us that much manpower anyways. That <laughs> gave us a little blip, so we can fill out... Um, more of this, which is okay. Not right. Power armor, PA teams, I mean, they're not bad. They gave you 28... Almost 29 more breakthrough, 23 more soft attack. This gives you 11 more breakthrough and 15 more soft attack. Uh, this actually raises your organization up, though, so. I'm not really using this template yet, but we'll get there. Come on, come on, guys, kill each other. Oh! Um, they're taking a little bit of attrition. Maybe they have too many soldiers there? No? Maybe. Only 1% attrition, which is not bad for them, but we still have enough political power to do what we need to raise conscription level. Oh, I don't really want to do this. Unorthodox. We don't, we don't have to go to war. So, scavenging Vault 21, that wouldn't be bad. Repcon stuff, scryer research, let's do that one. Pushing our scribes for a longer research project will inevitably, inevitably reward us. Prioritizing long-term study and self-reflection should make our results more accurate. And having scribes accompany scouting squads should make them much more capable of investigating pre-war sites. Scribes are the backbone of the Brotherhood, so we must continue to hone their skills. Oh, man. Oh, there's a... Oh. Wait, they thought one anointed. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna go to war then too. Then. Oh, what? Uh, I want them to go to war. Those guys. A friend of the. Oh no. Wait. A friend of the Legion. Joins friends of. Nikes. More than twenty-five percent for a ruler. After the time, Legion influence has not been crushed. It's fully independent. Oh, sh Nikes. Wait. So, are you both trying to go to war? Wait. What's going on here? Hold on. Are you both joining the... Oh, well, crap. Oh, man, this is not good. This is not good, man. What is going on? I, I want to wait and see. We have a little bit of time still. Oh, please don't join the faction. Please don't join. Please don't join. For the love of God, no. Please do not join. Plus fibers, that's pretty good. Anything over here? Recon armor? I guess... Might as well, why not? Friends of Kaisars. Still June. Aid from the Legion. Come on, guys. Please go to war with the 80s. Actually, the Lord's Anointed is doing fairly okay. Oh, man. Hmm. If we do this now, that could really screw us up. We could probably hold, though, still. And we get more manpower that way. Because it's pretty tough to break these guys, especially if we're defending. I know this isn't core territory. Urgh. I was concerned. Oh, we're done building the forts, though. So, that actually gives me a lot more confidence. And splitting up this into two would not be bad, especially if they're struggling up here. If they're actually struggling up there, that's not bad at all. You guys still have 1,000 manpower. You guys have 6,000. Oh, I don't want to do this. I really don't. Race conscription level. We need that manpower now. Is there anything going on here? No, can we actually move out? I kind of doubt it. Oh, 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 never mind. Never mind. We can probably pierce. Oh, we can pierce each other. McNamara, you got to hold on to your butt for dear God's strength. Oh my goodness. Please hold, McNamara. Actually, if you guys want to, actually, have you guys go back here. Let's see, that's 
Let's see. You guys go right there. Now, this gives me a little bit more confidence if the Legion starts trying to strike us. Yeah, that should be more than enough. All right. Drain their resources. That'll be good. Yes, yes, yes. A thousand times yes. We raised the conscription level. That's what we wanted. We got exploration for technology. We have no men to spare. That is unfortunate. Now we've got 11 guys, and they'll probably go bye bye. We've lost about. Well, the Lord's Lamented lost quite a few. We've killed about 500 of them, so that's not bad. We could attack here, but I'm going to wait. It's, just too, it's too dangerous for us to attack. This is probably a really bad idea. Probably an extremely bad idea. Why did I do this? Because I'm a little crazy. And the Legion still might go to war with us, which we still have a good chance of winning since we have maxed out the forts in Hoover Dam. They still have to attack over here, and we have eight divisions. Now, the NCR does go to war with us. We're kind of screwed. So we better win this war as fast as possible, so I'm not sure how we're actually going to be able to do that, but <clears throat> we'll see. As long as we take Lincoln. Lincoln? Lincoln? Lincoln, that would be good. Yeah, keep attacking, keep attacking, especially right here. See what happens. We've killed off 1,600 of them, 1,700 of them. The Lord's Anointed is doing fairly okay as well. They've lost 1,000 guys, though. And it's kind of flattening around here, which is not bad. Not bad. Come on, just please keep attacking us. Please, and for the love of God, give us more manpower. Non-to-logical bombings, don't mind if we do. Let's grab some more of this. Combat boxes, yes, please. God, I look, we have so many planes. Why does manpower have to hurt us? Actually, if you guys attacked here, that could force them or really inspire them to attack us like crazy. And we still have a fallback line, so... We could do that. We really need to speed this up a little bit. I'm going to grab some more medics because we need that right now, probably. Even though I don't think our soldiers are using medics, so maybe there's no point in doing that. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Commercial Protectrons. Yeah... Oh, actually, no, I like Scurry Bots more, probably. Scurry Bots have 25 armor. These guys have how much? Eight. Get out of here. We've only killed... Wow. 30,000 of them. Oh, but they can pro they're probably going to join the Legion. Please don't join the Legion yet. <laughs> Braid out here. I mean, they did go with Dominion over Utah, which is pretty good for them. Legion training. They get more attack. Arms bunkers. Center Sons of Flagstaff. Braid our hair. Our new master. So they can't do that, because they already took White Claws. So, they cannot join the Legion, apparently. Hopefully. If that's the case, and they keep wasting themselves on us, I'll gladly spit... Spit? Well, I'll probably spit some more. But I'll gladly split up the White Claws with the Anointed. I am totally okay with that, until the 80s attack us, in which they want to join the Legion, too. So we got to kill them off fast. Woo! Research uh, power, or power, reserve power in Archimedes. If I'm going to defeat the Legion, I need to ensure that the Archimedes satellite is fully operational. Should be trivial to store a small pocket of backup power in Helios for the day the Legion arrives. Very nice. Oh, Lord's Anointed is not doing well anymore. Are they going to attack? Ooh, I don't want to send any more soldiers away. What if I did that, though? Let's do it like that. Now, they lost 5,000. We've killed off 4,300 of them. They keep this up. We've got a little bit more manpower. They're losing manpower. we got some machine-assisted decryption. Who are we decrypting right now? We're doing Legion stuff, but... Legion. Huh. There you go. Let's see what we can do. Because the... Oh, no, I want this one. Thank you. McNamara. If you see down here, his ability, or force composition, or comparison, is slowly going up compared to these guys. I suppose you guys aren't attacking more yet. Going down to Grand Trap. Even if two divisions are good enough, that'd be good with us. Oh, oh, oh boy. Hold on. Oh, yes. For the love of God, yes. Yes, yes. Give me those planes. We're gonna need them right now. There's not enough damage done yet. Danta? Denata? Declared war? Very nice. You know what? We're at war right now. I might just consider just going up to Scribes. We're gonna lose 4% stability. And probably division attack and defense. And we get more special. For oh, we get less special forces capacity to multiply, which is not good. Not good at all. Which I'm kind of considering, seeing as that probably would actually be okay for us. Let's get more soft attack. That'd be good. We could probably try and attack, and we do have a chance to win. But let's wait. Let's just wait a little bit longer. Military hardware, robot reliability, increased rel reliability. Yeah, I I, I want to raise up my conscription level quickly. Alright, so we got 28 of that. If I can make any of these guys, like, even bigger, that'd be great. We don't have enough army XP for this, probably, though. 15. Is it worth doing this? You get... Mm, you lose organization, which I don't like. We already have a good amount of organization, and you do get more breakthroughs, so we can probably do... Let's do two, why not? Oh, we need one more, one more. Come on, guys, one more. 
We got more manpower now, though. Manpower now, though. If I could stop talking over my own words, that'd be great. I'm gonna split you guys in half, and actually half of you guys are just gonna go right here, just in case. And the other half go right there. Even more damage, please. Oh, come on, Lords of don't you dare start falling apart here. We need you. And we do have our Archimedes button, so. Come on, get out of the Run out of manpower. They still have 2,500, 2,600 left. Oh my goodness, this is a dumb idea for us to do. But it's my fault, but we're gonna win this one. I know we are. Volatile Shack Market, the Ghost of Chain, because you get 50% more country-based node income for the same amount of time. 10% more, and 50 caps? Woof! Circle Junction, Imperial Mexicano. Well, good luck, guys. Um, war Propaganda would not be bad. Power Armor Scavengers, Investigate Rumors. I'd like to do that, but we gotta save our political power up. Alright, we got one more. Thank goodness. Because I'm gonna make one of these guys 40, or 37 and a half combat width. Maybe not 40, but 37 and a half. And I'll put some logistic companies on these guys, too. Can I convert you as well? I'm going to convert as many people as I can before we lose our cap. Because uh, we're going to need this. Yes. A thousand times yes. Can I just select all of you guys? <laughs> we can't do that one. Yeah, that's what I kind of figured. Nope. How many... Can we even throw any more on? Yes, we can. That's the maps we can do. That's fine with me. Raise the conscription level, because I don't know how long it's going to take to actually get there. And we lost all that manpower, which is totally fine. We'll be okay until people want to kill us off some more. Hmm. I'm not even going to throw them to the mayor. Oh, well, Imperial Mexicano's gone a little nuts, haven't they? Good, good. Oh, yes, let them attack us even more. Oh, what's going on? A little bit of lag. Oh, boy, what happened? Oh, boy! Whoa! I was not expecting that. Volpus literally just took them over. Wait, there's no civil war? I guess Kaiser died. Okay, I this is the first time I've ever seen that, but cool. I'm never gonna use that strategic bombing stuff, but whatever. Um, they're pulling off. They're pulling off. It's time to attack now. It's time to attack. Oh, but we don't have enough. Wait. Oh, the unit leader's sick. Oh, how did you get wounded? Ah, third a month. We have to wait a month. This is the perfect opportunity to strike. I'm not gonna strike though without sufficient arms. Actually, I'm gonna stri strike right here though. See if we can push in. Even without support, we can still win here. That's going to piss them off, which is good. Where are their soldiers going? Oh, they're still trying to fight Eden. Oh, why did you... Mm. Good, we took the first tile. Oh, we're going to need manpower and guns to help garrison areas. I forgot about that. Oh, they're raising their conscription level too. Mm. Oh, crap, they're coming back to the line. That's not good. Hmm... Lone Trees and Heaven's Gate, huh? Was not expecting that one. Oh, we're still doing okay there, and... You know what? We could do this stuff. Let's get, let's do Rescue Legion Slaves. Slavery is, a, is an efficient system if it's used right, yet often it is used by the true idiots who can't even do the work for themselves. Let's steal the Legion Slaves, bringing them to the Mojave and deprive the Legion of the workers they rely so much on. So basically, we get weekly manpower for 250 days, huh? Well, it's time to do a little bit of math, so 250 days divided by 7 is give or take about 35.7 weeks. Let's say 35 times 20. That's about 700 manpower in total, which we're not really going to experience that much if we have zero. It's just we get stuff every weekly, so it's like 20 guys, 700? Mmm. It's alright. Can one guy take these guys out? Probably. Beautiful. We've killed off 11,000 of them. Come on, go to war with the 80s. Forgers, no, not that group. How dare you get wounded. Oh, crap, that's not good. We might still be able to break them if we attack fast enough, but I'm not going to attack with the Archimedes. No way. 80% more offense, 80% more breakthrough, 100% less organization damage taken. Oh, okay. You're fighting the Heaven's Gate as well as the White Claws. Huh. Now that's something I was not expecting. You should have no problem taking these guys out now. They can pierce us anyways, but whatever. Oh, can we actually win here? Maybe, maybe not. If we can crush them well enough. Oh, oh, 
Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Do we have any other modifiers here that we can throw on? Decorate a hero, stability, research speed. Ooh, how about we grab this? Robco, was it? Yes. Let's grab that one immediately. That'll be good. Well, oh crap, they're pushing in so fast. Medex would be good, but not really needed right now, I suppose. Ooh, robotics. Let's grab some heavy lifter bots, because we can. I will do a full scale attack though once we get this guy done. You just had to get wounded. I mean, come on, man. You just had to get wounded. What a bunch of BS. We could try a general attack. It's not going to go well. Probably. Probably. Well, I've been proven wrong before. Let's see what happens. I mean, we're doing well. Archimedes. I love. I love Archimedes. It, oh, wow. That's a lot of dead guys. Combat boxes, nice. I really want to get this one, though. So, Strategic Destruction, don't mind if we do. Oh, we overran a couple divisions. Nice. We've killed off 11,000. They have 128 divisions. I just don't think we'd be able to kill that many of them. But we'll see what happens. We're still doing well. Even the robots are still defending okay-like. Oh, crap. There goes those guys. Uh-oh. And we always have a defensive line, too. And we can use our spies to help put down resistance, so... There is that as well. I mean, we're taking out quite a few of them, though. But they are probably raising conscription level. But then again, they do have stuff to do with the resistance. That's not looking good. Oof. Please go to war with the 80s. Please go to war with the 80s. I just don't... We just don't have the divisions. Screw it. You know what? All but one. Join the front lines. Go, 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 my robots. <laughs> we need you. I will probably have to use infantry, too. Until Kaiser detects weakness, and that would be good. Keep running them over. Run them over. For the love of God, run them over. Infiltrate the Navy. No, I think we're good. Okay, so instead of you there, I'm going to have you guys root out resistance here. Because we have no manpower. And it's going to be a lot of manpower that we're going to have to put, need to use. Quite a bit, actually. You know what? Oh, they're starting to attack us here. I'm going to do this. All five of you stay here. Legion's over here, too. The rest of us. The rest of us weirdos over here. Actually, select all but those five. Or four. Five. I need you to come right here. Because you will deal with this side. This is getting... This, I, this is a really risky gambit I've, I've decided to pull right now. Really, really risky. And it's pulling, paying off for now. We've killed off a couple divisions. We've killed off 16,000 of them. Oh, but if the Legion attacks now, we are sunk. I'm going to have you guys attack as well. I need the infantry to take territory. Force the attack. We should have absolute air superiority, but of course there's no guarantee. We only have 29 command power. If we keep attacking, it looks like we'll probably do okay with our power armor and robots. I'm glad I made those robot divisions, but that manpower now... Mmm. Mmm. If we can cut off divisions, don't even go there. Go up here. Cut these guys off if you can. Rescue Legion Slaves. At this point, like I was trying to say earlier, we could do Cypher Expedition. There's a good chance that we won't keep that. I'm not going to do any more focuses for now because I need that extra political power so that we can core more territory. I have to core stuff right now. Help out. Destroy those seven divisions. Infantry is doing phenomenal right now. Love it. Of course, they don't have that much area to take out. But we've got to core more territory to get some sort of more manpower. Oh, my goodness. You know what? You're going to do the same thing. Uh, come down to... Come over here somewhere else. Let's go city for now. That's fine. Keep the resistance low. That'll be good. Day bombings. Don't mind if we do. And we got to wait for this too. So, uh, Support. Doggo stuff. Might as well. Yes! Would you do it now? Okay. Why, why did, why'd you wait now? Okay. I'm not going to complain. I am not going to complain about that. That is really, really good for us. Um, I, I will gladly give you whatever territory that you want, 80s, for now. Once these guys are gone, of course. Anything around here? Not really. We could grab some of this stuff. Basic well pumps. Why not? Uh, so yeah, we'll have to definitely split up some territory between us and those folks over there. Which is fine, but... No, actually, you know what? Let's get everyone to come over here first. But we will have to fight the... 80s ourselves eventually because they will ally with the Legion unless we do something about it. Actually, we've already taken Lincoln. How much more do we have to go to capitulate these guys? 
And let's not have you guys split up too much. One solid united front. The infantry, I've made sure that you are strong and successful. Please go ahead. Vault of Shack Market. Cha-ching! Nice. God, I want to use Archimedes again. How close are they to joining the... Legion? Because that will determine if we want to go to war with them immediately next. True ride. Declare wars on Utah. Every Claim on every state. We're going to have to go to war with them anyways. So, oh, the fate of Sac City. Ask for Sac City. They don't own that. Raid the White Legs. Hear the word of Nass. Just in case, I'm going to kill them too. How long will it take? I think the White Legs should be dead by then. They should. For the love of God, I hope they are. <laughs> oh my goodness! 2.59, not bad. They're dropping manpower like crazy. I love it. We got some dockyards. What do we do with ships? Do I even have anything in research for ships? We've lost less than 400 guys. We've... Oh, God, yes. Yes, yes, yes. For a thousand times, yes. Oh, I don't even have enough command power. Come on. We need 66. We get how many a day? 0.79? That's not enough. Come on, guys. Come on. Give them one, two. My... Buckle my shoe. Go, 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 go. Go to Vault 24, go. Wait, what the heck are you going? That's a wrong way. <laughs> That's a wrong way, guys. I want you to each attack him. Oh, McNamara, do you have an upgrade? Oh, Expert Hill Spider, but I'm saving my command power to do Archimedes. I think saving for Archimedes would be better. They're, oh, they're not too far from capitulating, too. That's pretty good. Don't let him in. Don't let him move. Come on, take it, take it, take it. Anti-partisan, good, good, good. Grab it again. It only costs us money. Literally, it only costs us money, that's it. Um, get up there if you can, get up there if you can. Oh, 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 that way. Thank you. Come again. Kill them. Thank you, come again. This is one hell of a gamble, I will say. All right, you two come right here. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Infantry, they're struggling definitely, but I, they're doing the best they can right now. They have a lot of divisions. Even the Legion is suffering from, from attrition or something there. That's good. I welcome that. I welcome that quite a bit. I can't believe the gamble's been paying off. We're, we're out of manpower, but I'm going to puppet a lot of the 80s territory. Well, obviously, we will puppet the 80s territory, but you know what I mean, I think. Um, this is getting this is turning very messy. Force here. You guys, force here. There you go. Um, I'm pretty sure I put y'all right here to go there. Go right there if you can. You guys get down there. Archimedes, it. Actually, I probably should have given the 80s that. Or, not the 80s. Give it to the infantry. Oh, we, we did it! Oh, we did it. We did it. We did it. Hooray! Alright, so I. Hmm. I'm going to give the 80s Jericho because they probably want that and this stuff. If there's any other territories that they want, I'll give it to them. Uh, you know what? You can have all this stuff too if you really want it. You can even have Lone Tree. I don't, I don't want Lone Tree right now, so. That just means a lot of stuff that they're going to have to deal with. Right, technically more stuff that we got to deal with too, which really sucks. Um, hmm. There you go. Something like that. And I am going to go ahead and probably... I'm going to take all states first, and then we're going to release them bit by bit. I think that's probably the most effective way to maximize their manpower. So, free slaves from White Claws. Great! Oh, the tool that thinks and fights! Almost 2,600 manpower. Nice! So, I need to release them because I can't deal with all of this resistance. I wish I could. That'd be very, very cool. But... Kanan um, in exile. That might be worth it. I do want to release the White Legs, though. So... Let's release them. I want to see how much territory they actually have and claims and cores and stuff. Because they have cores on a lot of stuff. I'll give it to them. So, Oh, this is disgusting. Uh, no, if that's the case. And of course, aesthetically, it's got to look okay. As long as this is core states, I don't really care. Yeah, aesthetically, it's got to look okay. That's why you got the state transfer tool mod on. Alright, good. Uh, sorry about that, Tarwalkers, but you kind of stuck. Being with these guys. 
Ooh, I don't mind keeping this territory. That looks not great. <laughs> uh, I will give this territory to Mount Ellen to them. Over here, who owns this? Hounds of Day Warden. Dead horses. Well, dead horses are pretty long gone. Crazy horns. Yeah, they're pretty long gone as well. I mean, I probably wouldn't give a lot of this back to white legs, but it doesn't really matter. Dead horse point. I think I might keep that for now. I don't think I really want to give it to anyone else. Warden was over there. I mean, if they want to attack me for it, I'm going to keep this myself then. Over here, though, I'm probably going to release... What is this? Eagle Rock? Yeah. Or Uinta, Yinta, whatever I used to call them. Eagle Rock? Welcome aboard. We can always annex them later on, but I don't want to deal with the resistance right now, so... So, we have the White Claws back. Good job, White Claws. Hey, you're led by the Hall of Initiates. And you're my puppet, so you better not betray me. Cool. And Eagle Rock is back, too. And they have the same focus tree, Bound by Steel. Cool. And this, I don't really care about this. Uh, I can't believe that actually paid off. That's not bad. Ooh, but it might look better under these guys. There you go, it's not too bad. Yeah, we actually did really well there. I'm a little surprised. Now we gotta fight off the 80s. Oh, for the love of God, why? I'm gonna have you guys push down here, though. Well, never mind. We have enough infantry down here that we should do okay. Oh, this is not gonna be good. Could probably use more robots. Probably. Mm, planes are looking great, though. Looking real swell with them. Recon, we good. We're gonna need a lot of that, probably. Quite a bit of this, too. Quite a bit of that, quite a bit of that. Cool. Okay, so now we have enough manpower. We're still mobilizing. Get more of this and grab some more robots just so we can have more bodies in the field. That'd be good. And now we need more bodies in the field. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, why not? Sure. I'm still going to not even do my focuses yet because we don't really need them yet. The 80s will demand territory eventually. But how much manpower do we have for these guys? 16,000. Oh, pay up. Pay up. You got to pay up. Request garrison support. Yeah, you, you better accept. Okay, yeah, just give us that much. Wow, isn't that great? They gave us less than a 1,000. That sucks. Oh, let's get some of that. It's ahead of time, but I'm going to grab it anyways. Are you kidding me? We are your overlords. I gave you back so much of your own territory. And this is how you repay us? You better pay up caps. Oh, we have a claim on St. George. Oh, no. Oh, crap. If that's the case, I think the only way we can win this is if we just attack brutally with our power armor. I think that's the only way we can actually probably win this. Of course, then again, we are trying to rush divisions now, and we have plenty of planes. So, maybe not all is lost yet. Oh, you didn't even have planes. No wonder you guys struggled last time. Cool. And... I'm going to throw all three right there, but not really. I lied. There you go. What territories are they asking for? Probably all the ones in Utah, right? Yeah, we don't see here. Big MT. Oh, uh, what do they want? Oh, yeah. They want everything. All right, so how strong are they? Heavy lifter bots. Now, this is kind of a thing I always have with the 80s. They have less divisions. They have less manpower than the White Legs did when we first started fighting them. But somehow, every single time I fight them, almost every single time, not every time, but almost every single time, that they find way more manpower than anything else. So I'll probably go ahead and stop training. Got some anti-partisan stuff, which is great. Let's get some naval department stuff, because I don't care what I click on right now. Uh, actually, for you guys, you're doing pretty well. Oh, uh, yeah, you got some spy stuff there, so keep an eye on that stuff. I don't mind coring this stuff eventually. Yeah. Yeah. With some survivalism, I'm still going to keep on no outsiders. Decorated hero, that wouldn't be bad. Not really worth it. Until next... Well, that's not bad. Own operative detection chance factor. That's really not bad. I'm going to actually go ahead and grab this so we can get more ground attack for our planes because that's going to be really worth it. Let them attack us so we get more war support. They get less war support when they attack us. I think we have to... I don't know. They'll probably attack us like crazy first. Oh, man. we got to make more divisions. We, we need research logistic companies. Or even monstrous plants. I like that. 
Supply use? It wait. It doesn't change. It doesn't change at all. Maybe more weight, but that just matters um, how many transports you need to ship and perform invasions effectively, so. Okay, if plants cost nothing for supply, why not? It does lower our armor a little bit, but whatever. Now, these guys are going to be flooding up through here, but. <clears throat> if I have to sacrifice those guys, so be it. We can always defend from down here again as well. I'm really thinking that we're going to have to just. We got to go to town with these boys. Oh, how much longer must we wait for Archimedes? 22nd? Oh, we got about a month left. That is not ideal. Oh, we got three more robots, though. Hey, three more robots is not bad. To put them on the line. We gotta have a strong attack. Cut all these guys off. If we can get to here and up to there, to that little tile up there, that'd be okay with us, too. Okay, they went to war with us. They're looking pretty weak here. We gotta attack. Oh, hey, hold on. They have not gone to war with the white legs. Oh, they even have a division out. Oh, what do we do? Oh, do I do I invite them into the war right now? Oh, we don't have to, maybe. Oh, what if we don't call them in? What if we don't call them in and fight from down here only? Let's give it some time. Let's give it time and see what happens. Because if they, they will start flooding. And this gives us more time for our divisions to be made than anything else. Subsidize these guys. Now we're good for now. We can't afford, really afford that. Uh, help out technology stuff. Research speed, not bad. We're doing really well on a lot of stuff, so... Strategic destruction. That's yeah, good. Future Air Force. That is very good to get. Even the infantry is doing well. Love it. Keep it up, infantry. Keep it up, Edgar Harden. Love it, love it, love it. Anyone else have upgrades yet while we're waiting for stuff to happen? Yes. I'll gladly take more. Oh, we're out of robots. That's not good. We've got a 400. Not bad, considering we're only using infantry. And again, this is why I emphasize close air support so much. It's so good for ground attack. This is what makes or breaks my campaigns. And when I'm struggling, usually... It means, or when I struggle, it usually means I don't have enough air superiority and not enough ground attack. That's usually why. That's what's up. So whenever you hear me complaining in any campaign, from here in the past or in the, full, in the future, it's, it's because I don't have enough air superiority and ground attack. That's literally the only reason why. Alright, so it looks like they're not going to go to war with those guys. If I pull out now, which you should usually pull out, um, this could be very risky. I'm going to try it. And as soon as I leave, they're probably going to declare war on the white legs. I'm going to have you guys attack as well. we got to do this as fast as possible. If we can actually win against the 80s without anyone intervening, that'd be insane. We've killed a 1,300 versus 130 losses. That is not bad. For every one they kill of us, we kill 10 times the amount. Oh, my God. You know what? Infantry. Oh, you can't use it. We don't have command power again. Mr. Mocha Lover, stop spending so much command power. But I love using it. Ah! Crisis, I know. Uh, oh, I guess we don't have to build those forts. Can we build any more military civilian factories? Eh, might as well, right? Radar looking not too bad. Hey, they declared one of the ciphers. Like, maybe we won't eventually be able to go to that expedition. You know what? They might be able to hold out. We might as well do this now. I'm not going to read it again, but if you'd like to read it once again, go right ahead. We'll see what happens. We lose some political power every day, but we still get 1.5 down. That's not bad. That is not bad. Oh, my goodness. We got to kill those guys off. Oh, the Devil's Brigade bunker discovered. Okay, after a long and expansive search, our scout team was finally able to discern the location of the Remnants bunker. This is what the expedition we sent out for the Navarro Remnants of the Enclave. With a bit of work, we were able to break inside and discover what was within. It was a small cache than what was originally thought possible. Only five suits, a few guns, quite a few bits of circuitry for the facility itself, and a vertebrate. The quality and build of the equipment is positively stunning, however. So much that we can use these suits to further our own power armor development. Strange how we didn't meet any survivors. Perhaps they are all dead. More manpower back, of course. It's not much, but we also found the old equipment that belongs to these Enclave personnel. Five things of American Advanced Power Armor Mark II. Gauss rifle, five units of that, and one thing of a gunship. Holy crap. Uh, I just... I, I want to research American power. Can we reverse engineer that? Please let me reverse engineer that. Why can't we reverse engineer that? That is something I would actually push for very hard if I was leading the Brotherhood right now. Or the Helios Brotherhood, really, I should say. I mean, without calling in the White Legs, we have maximized our soldiers to the best that we possibly can. Let me blow them up. I want to blow them up so much. Actually, that costs 100.8. We don't have that. Well, actually, I think we can get that type of command power. No, we can't. Our max is 100. All right, so we got a little hole here. That's a little concerning. We lost 200. They've... Nikes. Jinkies. I mean, we are doing well. 
And we have enough manpower right now. That's so good. So good to core more stuff, though. Central Springs is cored. I'm going to core this next. Area 6. Yeah. Go and do that. Hire foreign heroes. Army department. This gives us that much more manpower, but you know what? We get more factories from that. If we ever get attacked there from the NCR, we get more defense, so that's pretty good. Let's go and grab some of that. Yes, I already know that these guys are attacking over here, so I'm going to actually divert half you guys over here as well. Keep the robots over here. That'll be fine for now. Just keep attacking. And... You're going to attack anyways. I'm going to blow them up. I am going to blow them up so badly that... Oh, I'm not going to make a joke. No, I can't make that joke. This is, on, this is going to be going on YouTube and you probably so. Can't make that joke about things blowing up. Sorry. Sometimes. Sometimes it's cool, sometimes it's not. Whatever. Yeah, I don't want to get kicked off yet. Then again, my Hitler videos have not been taken down or reported, so. Hmm. Oh, look at that encirclement. Oh, can we get in there? Go, 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 no. Oh, yes, we got some of them. Oh, yeah. Very good. So, y'all doing pretty darn flipping well. I'm going to pop at the 80s as well. Just because I don't want to deal with all this resistance and stuff. So, yeah. I'm probably going to take all their territories and then repop at them. And then we'll take a look at how things look like. Oh, they canceled all these. That's fine. Oh, you guys go ahead. Go ahead. Go, 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 go. Wendover is so close to being ours. Thank you very much. 17,000 losses. Not bad. This is one of the more rare times in which the 80s aren't too bad to take up. But I still have yet to play as them. So, I'll be honest. I have no idea when I'm going to play as them. No clue. Wow. That's a lot of recruitment we can do. Not bad. Really not bad. Combat robots, yeah, we need more. Wow, we need a lot of these robots. Holy cow. Alright, not bad. Really not bad. I'm, I'm not sure what else to say, because like we're doing very well. The Mojave Chapter is a lot of fun if you kind of know how to play as them. I mean, I started off not knowing that much about them. Logistics companies, too. I can't forget about that. But, uh, yeah. Not bad. Mountain City. Hopefully we don't have to get Mountain City. Yeah, we don't. This doesn't look like we need to. 98% of the way there. At this point, I just want to kill Volpus off. Cypher Expedition? They're dead. This has been quite the episode. I was pretty darn ballsy in the beginning, thinking, we can go to War of the Wild Legs, right? Breed Slaves? 600? Not nearly as much, but, oh, the Van Grass request alone. Oh, oh, that's a lot of money. We can't spend much now. But consider it a gift. Now that we got the expedition done as well. Let's see. Rewarding veterans of the Legion campaign. Houses, ultimate treasury. Yes, we're using robots, so we might as well, right? My policy towards the ruling of Vegas, of benign dictatorship, has really paid off. A member of the Tops has given us a rather particular little thing. It says the Platinum Chip. A little piece of technology that is the key to upgrading Securitron AI. While we don't use houses secure drones outside of the strip, we can take advantage of the knowledge in this marvelous little chip. Awesome. Ooh, what is this? Oh yeah, we got two places. So yeah, as much as I want it, eh, we we could keep them under us actually. But I think it'd be better if we just kind of liberated them, and let them go for now, uh, let them go under us, of course. Eighties, yeah. I think it's best if I release eighty. That's a lot of territory. That's gonna look really ugly, but. Got a lot of manpower back. Oh my goodness, this is ugly. Holy crud, what, why? Okay, for aesthetics reasons, I've got to do this as well, so. You know what, I'll do this off screen. So, we're going to end the episode here then. Hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, when we will probably go to war with Legion, and hopefully, puppet them. Thanks for watching, though, and have a great rest of your day.